is Russell Scott from scottcarvings.com and today I am going to carve this Native American man. It's uh, uh, it is a part it's a part of another set um, I'll explain a little later. Um, this is the first uh, this is the first issue of uh, he's a he's the, a, a father in which the the uh, the mother is holding the baby and they're looking at each other but i want to begin with just the the uh the native american now this particular native american is uh is uh, predominant in this era area up here in northern minnesota and that's the ojibwe indian or also known as the chippewa and so um, this particular area as a matter of fact, where we're sitting right now um, is, is, is uh, one of the highest parts uh, here at McCarthy Beach State Park. And during the years when the Ojibwe uh, were around here, uh, say, 1,000 to 2,500 years ago, uh, only areas like this were, were high enough. Uh, just a little bit behind you would be underwater, even though the park goes on. Forever. But I picked a spot that was kind of up, and then there's the uh, woods in the background, and uh, actually it does kind of, after a little while, it'll start descending. But it is, this is basically one of the most highest spots in this area, and was, uh, was definitely uh, used by the Ojibwe. As a matter of fact, another spot uh, 2,000 years ago that was used is actually it's a high spot uh, in the park, but right now it's used as the, um, the lavatories. And as a matter of fact, they decided to tear down the old lavatory five-ish years ago. And what they decided to do was to do a little bit, before they you know, tear it down and, and start bulldozing and all that other kind of stuff, is they did a little bit of ex excavation where these uh, um, archaeologists came in and started to sift through, dig and sift through the sand, and they come up with a lot of Native American artifacts, which I'm kind of wonder how many artifacts were bulldozed over. Uh, but then uh, this spot here, I don't know if they want, ever want to excavate it. But anyways, this particular gentleman and the, the other one that we'll be making shortly is that uh, though I wanted him to be uh, in that era, the, the thousand-ish years ago, there really are no pictures. There's no... Um, there's a fly, a big fly going around. Uh, no pictures of what they wore and what they looked like, even an artist conception. Maybe if I keep digging, I probably could find some. So the best I probably would ever come up with is some artist conception of what the cavemen looked like. I don't know, something like that. I chose not to do that this time. Uh, so this is kind of a little change up, as it were, though I am thinking of the Native Americans and the Ojibwe's, the Chippewas that were here uh, a thousand or two years ago. Uh, the best I could find are pictures, of course, of the old black and whites, uh, late 1800s, uh, early 1900s, uh, and I'm trying to get them uh, wearing as less, um, they're, they're wearing more of the um, Minnesota, or Minnesota, a lot of uh, the American clothing around here, uh, but I try, I'm trying my best to get it more uh, Native American, more them, and with that, uh, oh, not only, but what I did is I, well, first I did a little concept piece, and uh, what I did was have my little go-by picture, and one of the things that I wanted to point out is that they have this little big, 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 what is this called, big deer? I can't remember what the name of that was. But they have this, he kind of has one here. And what happens is, is that it, it comes around 
this particular gentleman has two, many has uh, one, and so I'm going to make sure that we put that in there. And you'll notice the Ojibwe or the um, Chippewa, both, their, theirs is not, uh, art is not like triangular like the, like the Lakota or any other theirs is more flowery and this is this is a difficult part if you choose to do a flowery design and it's the same with the leggings here uh, the flowery design we we're going to put in some leggings into him um, so this particular gentleman now um, he will just simply have uh, uh, hair this is my um, daz studio daz .com, daz 3d.com go look it up and uh, like I said it is a free software and it is and you can get into true two-dimensional not only the three-dimensional with the, with the perspective view uh, but it is true two-dimensional and that's what I did was I put him to get put his arms together he's looking down to his right and and what he's going to do is he's going to have this piece pipe that's what this gentleman is is for here and so we'll get get started on that and I've got I've also got my another go by here is an old another Native American uh, carving I did I thought I'd use him uh, <clears throat> now the uh, Ojibwe around here um, were always in constant war with the Lakota or the Sioux Indians uh, this, the, the Sioux don't, the Lakota don't like to be called Sioux because Sioux is, the word Sioux is snake in Lakota and uh, that's kind of a derogatory uh, with them. Uh, but uh, they've lived in this area and um, every time we go up into the Canadian area, the area is more in, if you can picture in your mind, the state of Minnesota, it has that pointy part that goes over Michigan so most of that and then it goes uh, into a little bit just northern part in the northern uh, North Dakota and a little bit of Montana but and then mostly in the C Canadian area uh, is is was their original now when you get into the the 1800s 17 1800s uh, they were in that area which again they were here even after the water uh, receded uh, but uh, it's, it was very interesting to see the, the archaeologists really get in there and, and just pick up, even though at the time I was there, they pick up little pieces, even if it's a little piece of pottery, it's just incredible uh, to see something like that. But anyways, uh, we're going to get started on this, and we'll have our little go by picture here and my little concept conceptual piece. Like I've mentioned before, uh, it's always good to, to, to start off with some, take one of your pieces of scrap woods and start in something. And see, I didn't finish this and make it that pretty. I just wanted to see how it would work and all. So, the Ojibwe or the um, Chippewa, both, their, theirs is not, uh, art is not like triangular like the, like the Lakota or any other theirs is more flowery and this is this is a difficult part if you choose to do a flowery design and it's the same with the leggings here uh, the flowery design we are going to put in some leggings into him um, so this particular gentleman now um, he will just simply have uh, uh, hair this is my um, daz studio daz dot daz 3d.com Go look it up. And uh, like I said, it is a free software. And it is, and you can get into true two-dimensional, not only the three-dimensional with the, with the perspective view, uh, but it is true two-dimensional. And that's what I did was I put him to get, put his arms together. He's looking down to his right. And, and what he's going to do is he's going to have this piece pipe. That's what this gentleman is. Is four here, and so we'll get get started on that. And I've got 
I've also got my another go by here is an old another Native American uh, carving I did I thought I'd use him uh, <clears throat> now the uh, Ojibwe around here um, we're always in constant war with the Lakota or the Sioux Indians. Uh, the, the Sioux don't, the Lakota don't like to be called Sioux because Sioux is, the word Sioux is snake in Lakota. And uh, that's kind of a derogatory uh, with them. Uh, but uh, they've lived in this area. And um, every time we go up into the Canadian area, the area is more in, if you can, picture in your mind the state of Minnesota it has that pointy part that goes over Michigan so most of that and then it goes uh, into a little bit just northern part in the northern uh, North Dakota and a little bit of Montana but and then mostly in the ca Canadian area uh, is is was their original now when you get into the the 1800s 17 1800s uh, they were in that area which again they were here even after the water uh, receded uh, but uh, it's it was very interesting to see the the archaeologists really get in there and and just pick up even though at the time i was there they pick up little pieces even if it's a little piece of pottery it's just incredible uh, to see something like that but anyways uh we're going to get started on this and we'll have our little go by picture here and my little concept conceptual piece. Like I've mentioned before, uh, it's always good to, to, to start off with some, take one of your pieces of scrap woods and start in something. And see, I didn't finish this and make it that pretty. I just wanted to see how it would work and all. So we'll put him there. And again, he is looking down into his left for a reason. You'll see that. Uh, I'm sure I gave it away a little bit uh, in the next video, but let's do one at a time here. And I want to start with my, I'll just put that there. I will always be coming back to that. In fact, why don't we get come back to it right now? Um, the first tool that I have in my arsenal that I always use is, of course, the pencil. And so let's pencil this all in. Now, I always like to start with this area here because what's going to happen is is I want this just doing a little circle hand up here hand up here I do what I do want them to touch so I'm going to have quite a bit I want to use all of the wood all of the cutout I've used I can always shrink shrink the hand a little bit and now this particular case um i think i may the, what i've had what i have here is that the, oh, there goes one of the, my piece pipe is going to be sort of like that i did not have a piece pipe on that and okay the first thing i want to do we're going to uh like i said the head is going to go a little to the right or our right and down and you could see that I got this cut out just for that. So we don't have to take a block and bend it down. Uh, I always like to use the word bend it. Shape it is more like it. So he's already looking down. He's looking down at something. And then we'll get to the hair later. Because uh, what I like to do is I like to take those corners off. And I want to make sure that we don't get too wacky hacky here. See, he can, this comes, so this is going to be just a little coat. And, but I want to make sure I want to get this in. Let's not get too wacky hacky there. I do that a lot. I start whacking away and, oh, I forgot. I am hoping to, uh, instead of it having straight out, my, my goal is, is kind of turning it a little bit so you would see a little, you know, at about a, whatever, 20 degrees, 10 degrees. Uh, this is just extra stuff here because what's going to happen is, but I, I'm penciling. Don't you don't have to pencil this in, because when we start uh, doing this, uh, then there's going to be these little things that are hanging down, and there's like there's beads and things hanging down. This is so. This is probably one of the complicated. This is probably 
this is more tedious and complicated. Now the next thing I want to do is, uh, though I will put this mark in, we're not going to, like many times I have carved in there and oops, because what we want to do is, this is the, the elbow, and the elbow is the most protruding part, this side, that side. And so what's going to happen is we're going to do uh, cut this way, and we're definitely going to be cutting in this way. And we'll be doing that a little later. I might take take the knife and take the edge off because I hate holding on to it. And and as far as this part, uh, even though it does kind of look like oh I see what I'm doing ah, I see what I'm doing wrong I'm kind of because the this is going to come because this I'm making that's why this came is for this. So what's going to happen is forgot about that. Sorry about that. So the coat is going to be. I think it's going to be a little bit higher. I'm just penciling in quick to show you. So this is going to disappear. In fact, let's get that as, as best as we can right away. Is that about right? Again, I get a little, get a little too wacky hacky in right here. And so all of this is And like I said, we're going to make a square peg into a square peg into a round peg. I think what I've I've goofed up in. I'm going to tell you something. I goofed up with my penciling. Everything else is fine because I just occurred to me I changed my mind because now there's going to be like I said another character on this side. I changed my mind to turn the head the other way. Because I wanted it, because actually it's going to be kind of like this. And I want this to be showing if you're going to paint that. So I, I'm sorry. The only ouch I've done, and I'll tell you why I happen to remember that, even though I forgot, is we want the head to go this way. I do apologize. See, that's what we, what we call a, a standard ordinary. Oops! That's a good thing we caught it now. And the reason why I caught it is because of this little extra I gave here down in this. Because uh, cause this is going to be a regular foot. A regular sticking out foot. It's just kind of straightish. Well, when we say straight, it's because the feet always, the toes are always away from each other. The toe part of each. So, but this one here, he's going to do a little bit of this. We're going to do a little bit of because he's looking, so we're going to have his body, and that now that leg is going to turn a little bit too, when we make that square peg into a round peg. So we got this going on, and that's why I remember. Okay, here's a little close-up of what we got. And the best thing is to just get on, okay, this is going to end here, because then all of this then... Is going to go away. All right, <coughs> we're going to get started with our tools and start carving away at it. I had to make a little bit of move here, uh, so I had to kind of, kind of start the camera here from scratch-ish kind of a thing. And uh, we are at Lake Beatrice. It's sort of the same area, and I thought it's still a good, uh, a good area to to keep carving. Native Americans are around here. This is a Lake Beatrice is uh, only about mm, eight miles north 
northwest of McCarthy Beach. So, uh, so they've been around here too. I think most of this is underwater 10,000 or 2,000 years ago. But anyways, let's keep carving. Um, I think where we left off, I neglected to put the shoulder in. It's about here. And here, because if he puts in, they're still straight, almost straight down. I'll use a little extra so we can still lurch forward a little bit if we can. Now, the thing that's kind of interesting is this is um, your your cutout is much different than mine because you're, you've seen the finished piece. This is kind of almost like a con conceptual piece number, well, a conceptual piece number two, as it were. And uh, you have the, the better piece. And so uh, this time I want to take, of course, put my um, flat round chisel uh, glove on. And what I want to do is I want to take these corners off. And uh, one of the things I could do right off is from here to here, I can take about this much off of this, same with over here, because there's really nothing with accepting that pouch. There's really nothing here. And then now like I have the foot, uh, but I, what I like to just take my flat tool, it's a number five, uh, about 25 mil, and I like to take corners off. Sometimes I like to go straight and do my V cuts onto the uh, pencil marks, but sometimes I just like to get these sharp edges off. Just take a, some of these, you don't have to really shape that much, just. off but I want this one I want to I'll just take a little bit off careful we don't get too ha wacky hacky with this now this you can mostly disappear this is the arm the forearm of his right arm let's take this off okay same with here now the head's going to be turning that way so we can take quite a bit off on that to be careful on this side just a little bit off there all right that's just where we're at it let's take this out I got a round tool for that but let's at least take some of it off get our bearings here on that now he's gonna be wearing where are we here sort of like a coat kind of a thing oops sorry uh, like I said I got my boom style tripod here and kind of a little bit like this guy here except his hand but I like to have because the um, the other one that's coming up I'm not going to tell you too much uh, she's going to have uh, the pigtail here so I might as well have this as straight and that or it could have been the other way around too but anyways now I want to get working on a Get these corners off the foot here. Foots, footses, feet. Now it is a bit breezy. I hope that we are not experiencing the loud, raspy sounds. All right, taking the corners off here. 
again I as I have mentioned that this is a fast paced usually mine are fast paced videos and you can always slow them down while I'm here I might as well cut, get into this even though it's not gonna hurt me while handling but it's like I got it so might as well do it same with this side here and I can feel the sharpness of his toe on my hand already which really hurts kind of hurts okay get this started um, keep working on the feet like I said he's gonna have this foot this moccasin tilted I'm not sure if I got that backwards because when you turn now this when you got to tilt it towards that's kind of the body language of being interested in what's going on in that direction whereas on the other hand if he is just standing there and then he turns then this would be on the other side And now it feels good on my hand there instead of having that point. And cut that. And I'll get this cut. Get this cut in. There. Now we're getting her now in here. Turn this in. Just turning this in. Give this another shot. Like I said, I got a round tool for that. Maybe I should slow down on it. Same with on this side here. Interesting now that we're just taking these edges off, oh, it's starting to begin to take shape. Again, I'm going to have to keep that, but that could be shrunk down quite a bit. It isn't that wide, but we'll come back to that. I'll take this off here while we're at it. Then. And we got things started a bit. Um, always one of my round tools. I got this number 11, 5 mil. I'll cut here where the arm, the hands meet. And I'm going to take a little bit while I got it here. I'll shape the arm and the body at the same time. Same with on this while I still have it, might as well. So getting deeper with the arm. Now, before I want to do anything in the back, as I have mentioned before, that the elbow is the part that sticks out the most. And therefore, we want to bring the elbow up to the shoulder like that so it starts to go in this direction now the elbow will get in or the elbow the shoulder will get in there These are kind of critical points. In fact, I want to critical points before it really starts. I think I remember the shoulder was around here ish. Oh, 
Okay. There's one set. Take my glove off. I don't know. My camera seemed to... I don't know if it stopped. I think, I think it did. So, holy smokes, just in case. Here's what I did thus far. Might as well catch up to that. I just began to round the legs. So, if it did shut down, I will find out after we... I um, take it to the computer, but this is what I've done. I've take, taken, uh, just in case it goes so far back, I've taken the uh, the edges off, just to make uh, just make things a little more rounder, easier to handle. Now let's continue with my knife. Now he's going to have these leggings, but I still want to work on the feet here a little bit. Get quite a bit of that saw mark out of there. I hate that when you scrape, when you um, put the knife down and it just does not cut, it just shimmies across. Okay, I'm going to Straighten this foot out a little more. There we go. Straighten this foot out a little more here too. I can't get the leverage here, the leverage. And uh, start narrowing. Start to narrow. Oop, get out of there. Oops, I think I got some cut marks on the other end. And it's still quite a bit of thinning those legs out. feet a little bit and at the same time like I said I want to kind of get the back a little bit of an arch while still thinning of the foot. A couple more swipes here. Now I don't want to be the legs too far apart, so I'm going to bring in the outside a little bit more. Somewhat cleaning and narrowing.
spun around it and around it. Oops. I think all I did was bury the knife over here. Well, I'll get to the chisel a little later. Working at it and working at it. I just want to kind of straighten this out a little bit because I think I'm going to take more on the outside. Oops, I took a little too much off probably. Oops. Oh, I think I'm going to take off more. What the, the direction is really around this foot here. So I have to go back the other way. And we're carving, and we're carving. So I got a little bit of saw box here. And you can see how really big those, that, those feet are. So we've got plenty to work with. Sometimes, you know, when I take somebody's pattern, I always just decide to take a, give it a little extra. Um, well, the saw mark is just get a little extra. So we're getting it rounded, and though it's still pretty wide up here, I want to narrow it a little bit more down here. I want to draw in where the leggings go, and you can always thin it after that. Still, because if he turns his leg, then this is the front part of his leg. You know, I gotta tell you something. The little tinks and tinksy here and off the leaves, I think it's raining. Oh, it's raining, it's just a little little cloud. I mean straight up I can see blue. I think it's gonna be just a little bit of rain for for a minute or two. Okay now I wanna take the edge. Okay, before I leave, I want to draw in the leggings. I think I heard a loon quivering there. Even this, he's going to be lurched forward a bit. So there's still more adjusting. I got to take the saw mark off. Okay, just I want to just just a little bit around here of the coat. You know, I'm gonna save. I wanted to dry in the leggings right now, but there's still a lot of adjusting to do before I put in the leggings, and I'm not going to play with this stuff right here. This trying to pull this out and clean that out. Okay, here's what we got so far. And there's still quite, 
quite a bit to go quite a bit but we're just getting started here keep bringing that black back keep bringing this in because I do want to leave the leg area and move on so I'm going to leave it for now leave the even the feet here leave a little bit of adjustment because it'll probably bug me but and that leg is still that foot is still too big okay moving up i just want to move up on the coat here just to clean uh, clean off the saw marks And the other thing about this rain here, it is it's slight, it's not, not a huge rain going on, it's just that hopefully it'll take out some of that smoke we got from the north and west. But I will shut down if it does get a little, you know, carried away here. The rain starts, it does sound like it's picking up. But I am underneath a bunch of trees. And I think I'm going to take this elbow in just a little bit. Just a little bit here. Just to kind of get our bearings kind of a thing. And that's what I want to do is. Because like I said, he's going to lean forward a little bit. But I think his, the skirt part of this coat is a little too big. Because where we're at, it's not, I mean, it's not dicey blue all over the place. Yeah, I'm looking at the lake. Yeah, there's little rain, what you call it, uh, swirls or impacts. Taking saw marks out is when I'm basically doing and kind of arching his back a little bit okay i'm gonna start moving up let's get to his hand excuse me let's redo okay again if this is the shoulder and he's coming in it's going to be kind of close to his body so therefore, oh, what did I just drop? That tool that I always drop, and I rarely use it in it. Right, I will probably not use it. Okay, there we go. There we get. Same with on this side. That's one of the things here about a cutout is this how this arm goes in and you gotta bring that in. We got plenty in here. So what do you got here? See how it comes at an angle like this. Or are you right there? So, with that, where's my round tool? I said I was going to use that on this, just to clean that out of the, out in there. Just get some cleaning going right here. Back to a little bit there. Shaping, but let's 
get pencil marks back in because we can see the thinness of this man because though we neglected to draw our center line I mean we're still even though he's still got a big chest and everything so we're talking this arm is going to be sticking out a little more than the other one so therefore let's get the shoulder and arm back in and uh, it's going to come up a little bit I don't know what is that is that a frog chirping in the background I, I hear that a lot okay let's where's my fee the tool now he is going to like I said his 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 uh, um, hair is going to come down but it does not go over the shoulder or over the shoulder as much and I think I made sure of that I think it did touch the shoulder this one touched the shoulder you can make this hair more broader we got loon in the background there but if we do this, then we come around this way. That is not thunder, that is my stomach because it's lunchtime that's coming. So do some shaping. Well, the loon carries on. Now, what I want to do is I want to get the, the chest in a little bit because that will kind of determine a little bit about where the how the arms should be as well. So we'll round it a little bit. See the chest is still a little larger than the rest of the body. I don't know, now I think I hear thunder. Oh, I got a chipmunk to my left. About, oh, probably about uh, five feet away. Looking at me, say, where's the chow? What do you got to throw? So we're starting to get the hang of it. Of what's going on here. There it goes on the other side. No sustenance, he's moving on. Now, same thing. Uh, first, let me get my thing in here and how we can do the back. But I do want hair. How far do we want the hair? Why as well bring it down? You can always bring it up. It's about halfway down the arm. Let's get that in. Around the shoulder. Let's at least get that in. We can shape it. And the same thing is in there. Oh, there goes my glove. The same distance because we still want that to kind of fit that. My secondary glove, my cuticle glove. I 
I can probably. Where's my V? And like I said, this one here is going to come out a little more. You know what? If I were to. Because when I shut down, I think I lost the, the zoom in. Okay, so. All right, this one here is let's bring that a little forward, darn. Bring the arm oh, quite a bit for oh my goodness. Well, here, let's put the let's put this in. So let's just, let me get my round tool and fix that. Things are starting to straighten up. Oh, there goes Mr. Chipmunk over there. So I'll get my round tool to take, again, taken. We're taking off. Oh, look at that arm. Look how thick that arm is. You know, this arm is a little thinner, so we'll work on this one first. That's what I've always said is when you're working on hands, arms, um, anything that's a two ears, eyes, whatever it is, you always work on the one that is smaller and then and then make the bigger one about the same as the smaller one. I gotta be careful, I got that a little too thin there, possibly. Probably that's what we want, actually. Ooh. Ooh. I think we can counter that by going this way a bit. There. Because if the arm is gonna be like that, then. Because the elbow is. The elbows have gotta match, too. Here's his elbow here. How oh, he's bringing it forward. His arm is forward. Okay. This elbow here. It's got to be re relatively the same as on the other side. a little bit, rounding this a bit, quite a bit, because uh, I bet that is going to be shrunk quite a bit. That big, that big layer, I don't know what it's called. Rounding, rounding, rounding. We're rounding. And separating. Airline. There we go. This one here. We're on the level to get my bearings here. Okay. We're rounding and we're straightening this out here. Oh, am I too playing it? My card's too close to the to myself here just oops not that much just right here all right I mean it depends on what I'm doing if I'm down here as opposed to up there 
it, uh, that's the way I hold it like this. Okay, the next thing I want to do, one of the things I like to put in a pencil in when I'm doing the arms, it's one of the details, it's one of the, I want to say, um, major details or details of the, um, yeah, I'll get to that, you know, I want to put this in when I'm doing the arms. And even though this is a detail that usually, I don't know, some people would wait to the end, I, I like to do this now because then you can round the two types, the two sides of the, of the arm. I feel like I got it like right about here. Like I said, I need to get a little bit of this. Got that on that side. A little bit of this. A lot of bit of this. Okay. Now we round. So first we put this in. Then we round, beginning the rounding process. Let's get to that shoulder. Round the, sh round the shoulder a bit. And because of this major rounding process, I can see that this will begin to disappear. Therefore, I may have to put it in again. Uh, There we go. Now we can round this this way. And oh, we're not done yet. We got this to go. I want to use some of that for my arm. And quite a bit is going to be taken for it. But the hand, I'm leaving that open because the hand, if I'm not mistaken, the hand goes down. It goes down. This hand kind of goes in. So and thus we are. And see how that's already starting to take shape. To the point that I think we might have to put another one of these in. I will, while I'm here, just do a little bit of housekeeping here. And if you listen carefully, we we got a brown or hermit thrush, one of the two. It's too far away for me to determine. It is definitely a thrush. I wonder if he's coming this way. Let's see, now we're starting to clean this up a little bit. All right, we'll leave that part alone. Shift over to part two. And like I said, now that you got that in, we're going to round according to that. 
And I'm going to put, where, where'd that shoulder go? Put that shoulder back in. Let's take a little bit because I don't think, I'm pretty sure that here when I come down right here. All right. So we're rounding this part to the shoulder. here okay then we're rounding this arm and we're taking quite a bit of the saw marks out of there as we're rounding, because this one is kind of more straight back, straight to his shoulder, or his, to his chest. And we're going to cut here. Be careful, because it's coming down this way. Should put the pencil marks in. a little bit of this. Okay, rounding, we're rounding. And again, I want to leave that alone. But I still want to get this out of here. Now our red eye vireo came back. I believe our chipmunk too. And that's what he's doing. He's holding his pipe. I suppose we're gonna now he does have a collar, a little bit of a collar, so we don't want to take too much on the top off here, but again it's a matter of getting our bearings here. And then I will give you a thus far, so as I can, oops, I hope it'll bleed, just the skin. Here, before I do that, let me go quickly on this, and this has to get a little more cleaner, cleaner. How far can I get in there? Okay. We've rounded. Let's see. Have you been seeing? Yep. Okay, close up. Rounding the arms. That's kind of a little hacky there, but we'll clean that out. And you could see... Uh, it's got kind of a little bit of a pot belly there. Can you see that? Yeah. We'll work on that, but I do want to have a little extra for his collar. Do I have him have a collar? I don't think I have him have the collar. I'll look at it, the picture. But what I want to do is I want to get into the head now. Just get started with the head. So I think I might have to push this just a little forward because if I start carving the head, it's got to be right there. I do bring it a little farther for there, so yeah. Okay, now according to what we got here now, remember he's looking down. We don't wanna we don't wanna lose that. Um 
So I, what I can do before I put pencil mark in is because he's still got a lot of, he's still got a lot of the hair. Oh, there's a chip on Hello. Oh my goodness, he's right on my feet. What do you want? What are you looking for some droppings? Oh. Is that chipmunk over by you, Lynn? It's under the car. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give some treats to him. Like I said, there's some pumpkin seeds to him, but he didn't eat them. Okay, so we're carving. We're getting what? this over here. Just round it, just rounding a little bit. Same with on this side, there'll still be a little bit of a, maybe here. Okay. And again, let's, while we're at it, let's round the hair, hair, round the head a little bit before we start putting marks, uh, pencil marks in. Same with hair. Now the hair is, is imperfect. So uh, you don't have to worry about being there's no real right way or wrong way, but other than, well, gravity and what, what kind of head full of hair does he have? Well, I'm going to be Got Lynn over on the other side. He's getting pretty close to lunchtime. I'm getting... But, oh, geez, he thinks it's lunchtime. He keeps going and coming back. Yeah, he keeps going and coming back. Vernon bending the hair a little bit. There. So mostly, let's get the... Let's get the saw marks off here. So when we're ready to do the head, it's ready to go. Now he does have a good long luscious uh, head of hair here, but we, want, we don't want him to be too overly hairy. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to put a curl, you know, like have to have a curl up. That's be, you know, far more feminine. His, his is just straight down. There's no, you don't put any uh, uh, shampoo or whatever he uses to clean his hair. Okay, now, he keeps going back because he... He sees me dropping stuff. He sees me dropping. He just keeps coming back. Now I want to take a little bit of this off. And we want to be careful when you go like this. Remember, if you got your saw mark in there, that's I've I've done that before. When I come like this and I push down and down it comes. So be careful. That's good for rounding, taking saw marks off. Let's do this. Oops, careful. I'm not going the wrong way here. There. And we want to kind of relatively square where, see, the back of the head is right here. So, like I said, as we can shape it, get saw marks off, and we are, we can just. Pencil in and go. I 
I think the head is a little too pointy in the back because I want to make sure that that the back of that head comes up and that's a bit too much point in this because when you're one thing if you're turning your head or whatever all of a sudden you keep carving and carving all of a sudden it starts straightening out so and not only getting close to lunch time I want to like I said get to start but get it close to me needing to take care of my knife it's starting to get dull I'm gonna take this a little bit here now his hair, hair is going hair is going to kind of split here and just to be on the safe side I'm going to come up here and it's going to come down wide Maybe it's going to be a little higher, higher up. Come on. Come on, Mr. Be cool. Here, I'll give you some more. A little more. There. Just, yeah, I think. I hope I didn't have it too high. There you go. There you go. A little too high. But I, I don't think so. Now the hair, head yeah, here, the head itself. Oh, see, we need a little more back. Yeah, there we go. We need a little. But I'm, what I'm thinking is, as he turns his head, his hair is going to kind of stay put a little bit. So, so his head. Here's. Um, I want to clean this. Make sure I put that over there. I just want to clean the saw marks off here because that is the chin. Right there is the chin. Okay. Got one of my alarms going there, so I gotta make sure. And so he's going to have maybe a little bit, very little neck. Okay, here's what's going to happen once I get this out of here. I think I'm going to have to, I think hopefully I have enough room. I think I'm going to have to V this. I think I have enough because I did screw up. Okay, now I just want to get started on this. First of all, get this out. This out. To get it started. Straight back. Straight back. A little bit of a turn up, just a little bit of a turn up, but just a little bit of a neck. This is going down. There. Just a little bit of a turn up for the neck. Interesting, whatever, whoever's got something running over there, the engine, that's getting the exhaust here. Phew! They didn't have any exhaust back then. Wow, whatever that truck is, it's good. Which had a lot of exhaust. Oh, it's our, uh, <laughs> it's the guy who's in charge. We call it our, uh, camp, a camp. What do they call it? A camp. The guy who sits here all the time. It's just, it's hard for me to think and carve at the same time. But I want to kind of, because we might be going back again once we get the nose. Because I think I think we're good here on this. I take that back this way. I'm gonna take that back. Because I think we might have to take the other stuff back. But anyways, what I am going to do one little one last thing here for now. Let's give that a nice curl here, right on the shoulder. 
right on the shoulder there. Another side, right on, right on the shoulder there. And narrow it just a little bit. Because I could see we're really, we're really goofed up here, but I'm gonna go like this for now. Because of the nose, the reason I'm going to leave this al alone is because of the nose and the forehead. Because once we get the nose in, then the forehead will come up. We'll meet the forehead. I'm going to give one more shot of this. And with that, I am going to take a lunch break. See you in a bit.